Hello, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm giving you guys a highly requested video on my study routine, tips and tricks. Please note that my routine is very unique to me and subject to change, as well as the tips and tricks I'm using. They're all things that I imply in my study routine, but you can gather your research from other YouTubers and sites. If I keep looking down a lot, I'm looking at the notes on my laptop. Let's start. My first tip for you guys is having good stationery. Personally, I'm obsessed and sick with stationery. Like, for example, this. This is pink, but it's a black pen. And it's a 0.5 tip gel pen. I struggle writing with biro pens, to be very honest. And I feel like this pen writes really, really well and lasts really, really long. Having good stationery, as opposed to having just regular schmegular stationery is really important for me in terms of like taking down my notes and even when i'm referring to my notes i like looking at like the work i wrote i was like yeah i actually did that because it looks really good it's also more pleasing to have really good stationery when you're studying because you're like okay i can't wait to use this blue pen i can't wait to do this for example um this eraser it has like a flower that goes through all the way. It's really cute. So having cute, pretty stationery for me is somehow like a motivation and I think it's very, very important. My next tip is having a workable routine that's written down for you to see. Like over here, I have a timetable. By this, I mean once you have a timetable planned out, you need to wake up and decide today I feel like reading chem, then you read chem for like 30 minutes and you're like, oh, I'm not feeling it, let me do this, let me do that. When you have a routine, you're more prone to following it and having like a very good structure down. How I did my routine, I take eight subjects. So out of the eight subjects, I wrote the ones I perform really well in, the ones that I'm okay in, and the ones that I kind of tank and flop in. Out of that, I got four that I do really well in, one that I'm just like in the middle with, and then three that I fail. So with the three at the bottom, those are the subjects that I prioritize. My routine in my timetable, uh, one subject takes one hour or two hours. So the subjects that I feel like I really, really need help in take two, and the subjects that I am okay in and do really well in take one or two still. That being said, the subjects that I'm also failing a lot are repeated over and over and over in my timetable as opposed to the subjects that I am really okay in. So in my timetable, the subjects that I'm failing in are repeated thrice from Monday to Friday and take two hours in every session. The ones that I'm okay in are repeated twice one session has two hours, one session has one hour. And that for me is what works. But this is my holiday timetable. For school, my timetable looks like I get home at four, thereabouts. I rest till five, do my homework from five to six thirty. From six thirty to about seven, seven thirty there, I read one subject. Then I have dinner, go to sleep. I wake up in the morning at about 3.30 and read for one subject. So I don't like pushing and cramming stuff in my school routine because I really go to school, that's enough. When I get home, I'd rather rest and still do my homework and read, but I'd rather focus more on resting. My next tip for you guys is having good notes. When you're in class, and you don't feel like taking notes for me because that happens for me i usually just write in pencil and i'll redo the notes later when i have like the energy to write the notes having good notes is so important when you're reading because you can't just scribble on your book because you don't feel like writing and then you come back to your book and you're looking at it and you're thinking you know so for me having good notes is very very important I suggest getting pens or like a color scheme for your notes 
For me, I use black as my main pen, not blue. I don't like blue pens. So I use black and then I use pink for my titles and purple for important notes. Then you can do blue for maybe working out something and whatnot. When you're writing your notes, have space to write um, extra stuff when you're revising. So maybe this is like the notes you've been given in class. You're reading and you have something that's added to the notes. So have space to write those extra things. Another like really important thing that you can have is sticky notes. I'm looking at them. I got these sticky notes that have the lines on them. I think they're much neater and look much better and then you can just stick and add whatever you need to add on them so if you don't have the space in your notes to add more notes you can get those kind of sticky notes my next study tip is getting good rest and eating well it's very important for you to sleep and for you to eat personally and i feel like i do relatively well that's why i'm giving you guys my advice if i get home and I'm very tired, I'm going to like sleep, I'm gonna rest. You've pushed yourself through the whole day and pushed and pushed and pushed. Why are you going to force yourself and push yourself to read even more? You're gonna end up experiencing burnout and as much as maybe you might see results, it's not as effective as somebody who's well rested and well fed. I personally can't work if I'm not eaten, I honestly can't. So it's very important to keep your diet Really balanced and healthy and to sleep like for eight hours at least I've seen people who are like they study till 12 and wake up at 4 or 5 to go to school that's them could never be me personally I'd rather sleep early and wake up early to read but I'd rather just do it out of a well-rested mind a well-rested body sorry and like a clear clean mind because once you're tired and you're forcing yourself to take in more and more and more and more content you're not gonna really take in anything you're gonna be there you're gonna be reading but will you remember you know so it's very important that you rest well and you eat healthy my next study tip for you guys is to have revision books not textbooks for studying but like a book that has a summary of all your notes say for example i use these notebooks most people prefer to use counter books which is okay but for me like i said i really am into cute stationery uh for example this is my physics book i have notes from form one and i'm going to finish my form three notes by tomorrow hopefully but from form 1 to form 3, because that's where I'm at right now, I have my notes summarized. So important formulas, laws, and practicals, procedures, etc. They're all going to be in this one book. So the way I'm writing it, this book is going to fit all my form 1 to form 4 content, honestly. Because it's just the key stuff. Where you are right now, personally as a form 3, where I am, I feel like I've already gauged what comes in a paper, what doesn't, and what I need to focus on more and what I don't. So when you're writing such a book, you can skip maybe the things you're 100% sure if this comes, I know what's going on, and write the things that you're 100% sure you do know. Having a book like this is very important when you're doing exams. So instead of carrying maybe all your three, four, five, six books from that one subject, you have the one book with those few, few notes that you can just go through in a hurry. It makes the work lighter, easier. And if you have the book like written down, every single exam, you're just gonna be going through the same thing over and over and over again. Cause personally, I found myself like reading for an exam with my other notes. And I have three books for from one, from two, from three. And this is physics maybe, the example I'm giving. I'm sitting there, I know physics from one, I open physics from two and I'm like, this was a topic in from two. And you start going through it, you don't remember anything. That's the honest reason why I started writing one, like these books. So for me, I have a book for every single subject. 
I take it so every single subject has its own book and I think personally it's gonna help me loads so you should all apply something like this to your study timetable and your study routine um, I forgot to mention I have these exam revision planners that I printed out from Pinterest so I have the mind to my four best subjects and my four worst subjects what I do you have the topic or the chapter you write that down and then you write what you need to do in that topic so once you've like got your best and worst subjects from your worst subjects from your best subjects look at what you need to highlight and what you need to work on more and then write the topic down the parts in the topic that you need to work on and then you have like a place where you write the date and then whether you've done it and your remarks on how well you've done what you've studied basically so before every exam i'd say print out these kids like exam revision planners another study tip i have for you guys is using flashcards flashcards look something like this basically so you write um you write your question here like with the exam that you've had you write the question here then you write the answer at the back so when you're revising you read the question try to remember this helps with active recall as well you read the question you try to remember if you don't you look at the answer at the back it's a faster way of studying especially before an exam and i think it's also very very effective so just write the questions that you are more prone to failing right and then answer right answer right answer so with this it also helps with the revision as well if you write a question yeah and you've noticed like you fail the question a lot then you should go back to like the topic and revise it over and over and over again so having flashcards is very very important for me especially in terms of active recall i can't stress how important active recall is for example having like laws and formulas you need to be able to recall those and write them down verbatim like you can't change up something in a formula or you'll get the whole question wrong you can't change a law because it's the law so having flashcards is very very important one more tip i also really uh, do feel like it's very important is when you're in school ask questions like don't be scared to ask questions your teachers are your friends trust me and you've had this so many times I've had this so many times and it's something that I'm also trying to put in my routine that being said something may be taught and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I personally ask like it's okay if I don't understand and the whole class is understood I'm gonna be like I don't understand because the whole point of class is for me to understand the whole point of you going to school is for you to understand and I'm pretty sure your teachers won't be like you know everybody else and the student you're understanding they'll repeat or they'll tell you like come to me after class we go through the whole thing when you have free lessons um you can study personally or you can go consult teachers on topics you don't understand do something don't just be free you go so just try and utilize your time really well in school ask questions your friends also i'm pretty sure you have like really good smart friends ask them for help i know some people are very stingy with information but like a good number of people are there for for you so ask them for help as well it's not embarrassing it's not cringe it's not i don't know what you guys feel or what people feel when they're asking for help but it's very important that you ask for help from your friends your teachers anywhere you can get help from just ask for help this is for your sake hundred percent this is for you another study tip i've used since like class eight is reading aloud and teaching people when i'm reading i read aloud because you can't forget something you've said that easily and then when you're teaching someone i'm teaching them so i remember what i'm teaching them and the person i'm teaching remembers what i'm teaching them because it's like on a personal level so it's a win-win that being said when you're reading aloud you can record what you're saying when you're reading 
and then listen to it over and over again so maybe if you're getting ready in the morning because i remember my class 8 schedule was crazy when i'd be getting ready in the morning i'd have like my own voice reading to me science reading to me social studies i think that's very very effective because you remember and it's the same thing as a notebook it's already something that's done and set all you have to do is keep reading and reading or now in this case listening and listening and listening i think it's very very effective for me it's worked so so much for me another study tip is to have a very conducive environment when reading have a clean space basically and when you're reading if you can't read in absolute silence have like brown noise or like lofi music playing in the background just have your brain at a very relaxed state that it's ready to consume whatever you're about to give it another tip is to be very confident in yourself um this being said you're gonna win you're gonna fail a hundred percent and for me failure is very scary i can't lie but what i'm learning to do these days is owning up to it at the end of the day they are marks you know so it's like okay you got an e say you got an e don't be like oh i can't even look at this paper because you've seen your paper you've got an e you folded it and you put it in your bag look at that paper go through it understand what you failed so that the next time you don't get another e because if you get an e right now close your paper put it in your bag best believe next time you're gonna get another e and another one and an even stronger one so it's very important that you own up to your marks just be confident in yourself because you a hundred percent i know i can get an e i know i can get this so me getting an e is like okay i kind of fumbled here let me look at what i did wrong let me get help from this teacher let me understand this concept and next time if it's not gonna improve to an a or something from that e at least i'm at a d from a d to a c to a b to an a so it's very very important that you be confident in yourself and in your marks because like i'm telling you they're yours they're very personal to you so be very confident in your marks another tip school is hard just pass up. yeah push 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 it's important to take breaks for your mental health as well like a hundred percent we understand that but it's very important that you push yourself if everybody gave up than what you know you're here sitting feeling sorry for yourself you're like school is hard i don't have friends i'm barely passing my classes then what it's not like okay you've sat down you've seen okay yeah i don't have friends i'm failing school is hard are you gonna wallow in self-pity or are you gonna do something about it so it's very important that you get up and you work you're not gonna get an a because you've prayed about it you've thought about it, you've manifested it, and you want it. You're gonna get an A because yes, you prayed, but you worked, you put in the work for the A. It's so rewarding to see the results of your efforts. I can't stress that. Like, you've seen, by the way, here, yeah, I'm actually doing really well. For example, and like I'm saying, this is very unique to me. I never really liked this Swahili, so it's one of those subjects that I'd be like, ah, I have a Kiswahili paper. And I, I genuinely wouldn't even open a book like at all. But once I started reading for the subject, I'm like, okay, it actually makes sense. Number one, it's pretty easy, and I can pass because now I've been getting A's and B's in Kiswahili. Mind you, this is someone who used to get C's and D's, so it's very, very possible to just sit down and decide. By the way, I need help. I'm gonna work, and I'm gonna pass. So thinking about it is easier than doing it, but once you do it, it's very rewarding and you feel amazing. Winning feels amazing, trust. Another tip is to do extracurricular activities. Don't bury yourself in work. Just cause you're failing maybe, or you haven't done this and this, and I know some people's parents are very prone to this. They're like, you didn't do well in this, so why should I let you do football? You didn't do well in this, so why should I let you do this? It's very important that you take time to take a break and do something else. You can't constantly be studying and studying and studying. When you do other extracurricular activities, say maybe debates, um, sports, 
hobbies like cooking if you do something else when you enter studying and you have a time and period set for studying you're gonna be in a well more balanced flow state than somebody who's waking up studying going to sleep while studying so it's important to balance your routine like work out do some sports join some extra clubs sing dance cook just add things that will spice up your life other than studying so that when you're actually going to study you look forward to it because you're like damn i haven't studied let me go study and get my grades up my last tip for you guys is to stay prepared if you follow everything i've given you prior to this you will have a very prepared mindset like you're like okay if this comes i can do it all you need is the confidence to do it so maybe you have a rat like a surprise test it's like okay i'm sure i've read enough to get a certain grade in this just stay prepared and be sure that if a paper comes right now right now i know i can gauge from a 60 to 70 or something having that confidence and having that state of preparation is very very important when you're studying and if you want to do well academically so it's very very important that you stay prepared for anything anything the academic world can throw at you stay prepared so like i said before my revision planners i got from pinterest my study timetable i printed it out from pinterest most of my stationery i buy from china square or from miniso if you have any questions or you want to inquire on something um don't hesitate to comment and i'll be sure to respond so i hope you learned a thing or two if there's something you want to add you can comment it down in the comments and share your tips and tricks for other people to see and use thank you for watching like share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time